Ask for Apes program, which was started by Orangutan Outreach, a nonprofit organization, is just a fantastic way to highlight orangutans. Uh, the program just gives them an added ability for stimulation and enrichment and choice in their life. All primates are really intelligent, especially the great apes like orangs and gorillas, so it's really important to provide them with mental and physical stimulation on a daily basis. You want to hear Tim? It engages their, all of their senses, their sight, touch, um, hearing. An owl and a chimp at the same time. One important thing about this program, Apps for Apes, is that it involves many zoos. There are now at least 13 zoos that are using iPads. We're communicating with each other to find out which apps the orangs tend to prefer over others. So when we obtain the iPad, there are many zoos that had already sort of tested the waters and suggested which apps to start with. So I started with a painting app um, and simple piano app, and since then we've added many more. I think it's important to keep adding new apps to the repertoire to keep their interest. If they were just playing the piano every day, it might be like a child having being forced to practice the piano. It's really all about um, having them have the choice. Bonnie, for instance, really likes the drums. She, um, oddly enough, or coincidentally enough, when she works on the touchscreen computers that we do research programs with, she's um, always tapping the screen constantly. So the drums work out really well for her because it's something that the tapping motion works out well with. Uh, Kyle's a little partial to the piano. Um, I think he likes that one the most. And uh, just today, it seems like our new app with the koi pond, uh, Iris might like that one the most, is to sit and watch the fish go by. Enrichment is based on how active they are with it, um, how engaged they are with it. And so if we bring the iPad up to the cage and they are not interested and they don't want to come forward, that's their choice. We're very, um, very aware of their choice and we want to give them the choice in order to do things. The iPad is not something that's to be forced upon them. Um, it's not something that they have to do. So if they're very engaged in it, we'll just keep on going, changing the apps, see, and just stay with it for as long as they're interested. When they're not interested, they tend to have the choice to just kind of walk away, and that's what they do. We are so very lucky to have so many fans of the zoo and so many fans that help us out with an enrichment and uh, supporting the zoo. So for us, with the Apps for Apes program through Orangutan Outreach, if you have an old iPad, uh, we would gladly take it and put it as part of the program with Orangutan Outreach. And that goes to basically allowing other zoos to get iPads for their orangutans as well. Through that, they can also make donations through Orangutan Outreach in order to not only support the Apps for Apes program, but also the incredible work that Orangutan Outreach does for conservation of orangutans in the wild.